Hi everyone, hope you're enjoying the show so far. My name is Logan, my pronouns are he, they. Uh, you may recognize me from some past 10 Minute Tuesdays, including the last Pride show, or from the Phoenix series production of Ophelia, in which I play Hamlet. Uh, sorry I couldn't be there with you guys live. Um, I'm dealing with some family matters right now. I have a couple different songs for you guys today, so um, let's just go on into it. So this first song I found on TikTok, uh, it uh, really kind of spoke to me as both a gender non-conforming person and also just a person with a human shape. So let's go! <laughs> doesn't fall into LGBT themes per se um, but it's a song that's really I really like and it's from a really important thing to me um, the song is called I don't want to live on the moon uh, from Sesame Street well I like to visit the moon on a rocket ship high in the air yes I like to visit the moon but I don't think I'd like to live there to look down at the earth from above I would miss all the places and people I love So although I may like it for one afternoon I don't want to live on the moon I'd like to travel under the sea I could meet all the fish everywhere Yes, I'd travel under the sea But I don't think I'd like to live there I might stay for a day there if I had my wish But there's not much to do when your friends are all fish And an oyster and clam are real family So I don't want to live in the sea I'd like to visit the jungle, hear the lions roar Go back in time and meet a dinosaur There's so many strange places I'd like to be but none of them permanently So if I should visit the moon Well, I'll dance on a moonbeam And then I will make a wish on a star And I'll wish I was home once again Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above I would miss all the places and people I love So though I may go coming home soon cause I don't want to live on the moon no I don't want to live on the moon so this next song is a song that I found a little while ago um and it really means a lot to me and it helped me out in um a lot of really hard parts in my life that I think I didn't know were hard parts until looking back on it. Um, 
Uh, I promise this is the last kind of downer song. Um, but I just wanted to share because I literally listened to it right before I started recording. I thought, you know what, I'm going to play that. <laughs> song is a song that I was actually reminded of from TikTok again um but it's one I already knew um it's called it's you I like from Mr. Rogers Neighborhood and I kind of just wanted to play it just to 
let you know that um, I love you and I like you a lot. So here we go. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. It's you I like. It's not the things you wear. It's not the way you do your hair. But it's you I like. The way you are right now. The way down deep inside you. Not the things that hide you. Not your toys, they're just beside you. But it's you I like. Every part of you, your skin, your eyes, your feelings, whether old or new. I hope that you'll remember even when you're feeling blue. That it's you I like, it's you yourself, it's you, it's you I like. So I have one more song for you guys, but I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you guys so much for having me on another 10 Minute Tuesdays. Um, thank you so much to the awesome guys at Phoenix Tears. Um, I absolutely love doing these shows with them. I love working with them. I think they're amazing. Um, so make sure you guys stick around for more of their shows if you're not familiar with Phoenix Tears. They're awesome. Um, uh, I don't really have any like ukulele themed social media or performing social media, but um, you can find me on all platforms if you like cosplay stuff or really any creative content um, at The Dreamiest Daddy on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So feel free to follow me. So the last song I have for you guys is from Hedwig and the Angry Inch. I saw this movie in college and it absolutely changed my entire life. Um, and one of the songs that really sticks with me all the time is The Origin of Love. Um, I kind of perceive it in two different ways. Um, the first obviously being the origin of love um, and human beings as a species. Um, but I also kind of, uh, if you don't think about it too much, <laughs> I kind of perceive it as um, a song about loving your gender identity. Um, so that's why the song is really important to me. When the earth was still flat and the clouds made a fire and mountains stretched up to the sky sometimes higher folks roamed the earth like big rolling kegs they had two sets of arms they had two sets of legs they had two faces peering out of one giant head so they could watch all around them as they talk while they read and they never knew nothing of love was before mm, the origin of love the origin of love now there were three sexes then one that looked like two men glued up back to back called the children of the sun and similar in shape and girth were the children of the earth they looked like two girls rolling the children of the moon looked like a fork shoved on a spoon. They were part sun, part earth, part daughter, part sun. Oh, the origin of love. Now the gods crew quite scared of our strength and defiance. And Thor said, I'm gonna kill them all with my hammer. Like I killed the giants. But Zeus said, no, you better let me use my lightning like scissors. I cut the legs off the whales, dinosaurs into lizards. And then he grabbed up some bolts. He let out a laugh, said, I'll split them right down the middle. Gonna cut them right up in half. And then storm clouds gathered above to great balls of fire. And 
than fire shot down from the sky in bolts like shining blades of the knife and it ripped right through the flesh of the children of the sun and the moon and the earth and some Indian god sewed the wound up to a hole pulled around to our belly to remind us the price we paid and Osiris the gods of the Nile gathered up a big storm to blow a hurricane and scatter us away in a flood of wind and rain see a tidal waves to wash us all away and if we don't behave they'll cut us down again we'll be hovering on one foot and looking through one eye Last time I saw you, we just split two. You was looking at me, I was looking at you. You had a way so familiar, could not recognize, cause you had blood on your face. I had blood in my eyes, but I could swear by your expression that the pain down in your soul was the same as the one down in mine. That's the pain. That cuts a straight line down through the heart We call it love We wrapped our arms around each other Try to shove ourselves back together We were making love, making love It was a cold, dark evening such a long time ago When by the mighty hand of Joe It was a sad story how we became lonely Two-legged creatures, the story the origin of love, oh yeah, the origin of love, the origin of love, 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 the origin of love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the show. Bye.